Hey, this is Dan Lima from AutomationHelpers.com, and Airtable recently released a new feature that allows us to take percentage fields and be able to render them as a progress bar. Hooray! This is something that Airtable users have been asking for a long time. And if you've searched through the forums, there's lots of different hacky ways to get the result you're looking for, but it's so much better now that we have a native feature for this. So I'm inside of Airtable. I'm using the sales CRM just as my basic demo data here. And on our opportunities, let's say we want to do something very common for a CRM, which is to say we want to talk about our likelihood to close. And so a sales rep is going to update this based on how likely they think that a deal will close this quarter. So we're going to add a new field here, and we could choose to call this likelihood to close. We'll do a percent field here. And this percentage now we're going to choose to display as a progress bar, this new option. We can set our precision here. Uh, if we don't display the percent values, let's just take this as is for a second. Let's go ahead and fill in a value. We'll put in 50%, and this is going to display that as that nice progress bar. We could, of course, edit this, and now we could say, let's actually be able to see those percent values. So if we save it. That's now going to render both the bar as well as the percentage itself. And other options that we have here, we can actually choose the coloration to this, and we can have some nice conditional logic. So we could say color, let's define a condition, and let's say only if the value is greater than 50%, we want this to be green. But let's add a new color, and let's say if it's under 50%, we'll call it red. I suppose we should say less than or equal to 50% here to display as red. All right, so we've got our conditions. We save our field. So we are now at red. If we were to update this to 52%, now we change to green. Really great how we can have that conditional functionality. But what I think is even more exciting than this is that this is not just on this percentage field. We can actually render other numbers, basically numbers that we would want to show as a percent. So that would be things like formulas and roll-ups and lookups. We're able to turn those into progress bars as well. So let's take another example in the CRM. Let's head into our sales rep goals. So in this case, I'm a sales rep and I have a revenue target I'm trying to hit of $200,000. I've got my linked opportunities. These are my opportunities I've already won for the quarter. And I've got a roll-up that's displaying those values from our opportunity record. So I already have kind of the working pieces I need, the amount I've won, and my target. So you can imagine that we'd probably want to be able to see how much we've attained this closed one against our revenue target. So let's go ahead and create a new formula field for this. And we'll call this attainment. We'll do a formula, and we're just going to do a simple closed one. We're going to divide that by our revenue target for the quarter. Awesome. At this point, we're going to click on formatting here. And instead of an integer, we want this to be a percent. And again, we see that option to display as a progress bar. So let's display our percent values. And we could add in our coloration like we did last time. Maybe I want to change the precision. Let's go ahead and create that. And we can see, ugh, we should probably add the coloration. I'm not doing very well for this quarter. We should have it be red instead. But you can see how valuable this is going to be to not only have the percentage fields themselves, but to be able to have other fields like formulas that can render as that percentage to be able to see that progress bar. Now, if you have any questions about your Airtable setup, feel free to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com where we're offering free 30-minute consultations.